Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest is a cookbook author and founder of Callie's Charleston Biscuits, and she's here today joining us to make her delicious cinnamon biscuits perfect for Christmas morning or perfect for any morning, to be honest with you. Please oh, yeah. welcome <laughs> Carrie Mori to our home. <laughs> Also joining us at the counter for these delicious cinnamon biscuits is the star of Queen Sugar, Omar Dorsey. Welcome. Oh, Omar. We all good, right? Uh, yeah. We welcome all our guests with delicious cinnamon biscuits from Charleston. Uh, yeah. oh. That's how it always works around here. So these biscuits really began with your mom, Callie. Yeah, so obviously the name is Callie's Biscuits after my mom, and she was a caterer in Charleston. Mm. And she had always made these biscuits, and I was usually the server. Oh. So I would see all the accolades, and I thought, this would be a great idea for a business. And she thought I was crazy. Oh. <laughs> well, she may have been wrong. I think so. I think so. <laughs> so she still thinks everybody makes her own biscuits and does well, the it the South, way I'm going to show you. They do in the South, but it's kind of a dying art, and I just felt like it was our job to share her biscuits with the world. Right. It's true. I agree. And, but her biscuits are very special. They're, nobody, they're not just any regular old biscuits. No. They have a couple little fun things, little little tricks. Uh, a, a good southerner always has that in her back pocket. And it starts with a very specific flower. Yes. We always use white lily, self-rising flour. Okay, which is, is very important. It is. It is a southern flour. It's super fine, and it bakes really high, so you get those beautiful biscuits. And then you start putting everything inside we do. all the beauty. And you do it with your hands, so clean right. hands, obviously. And I'm just going to show you how to do this and take you through it quickly. But this is so important because biscuits are really delicate. So you want to be able to feel uh, the happening. process and, and you just kind of go through and almost snap with your fingers and incorporate that butter into the flour and I do break all the rules with the biscuits. The, yeah, exactly. You know, I usually know. baking is a science. This is the complete opposite. Yeah. You really are no measurements of anything. No, we really don't. My grandmother never measured. She just kind of did a little of this, a little of that, and it was just, you know, she could just feel and she knew when it was time to go on. They all eyeballed it back then. Yeah, they My did. mom used to say, I was doing a cookbook with my mother, and I'd say, Mom, I need measurements. Oh, if you don't know what to put in, you shouldn't be cooking. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, but you can't write in a cookbook, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> That. that sounds like my mom. <laughs> well, we do something um, special with these biscuits that my mom has always done is we add two fats, which, I mean, if you're going to eat a biscuit, you might as well eat the best one, right? You might as well do it. So, so the butter. The butter's like first. So good. Yeah. I was just yeah. going to say. Wait, yeah. but look at this. But now we're going to add cream cheese. Okay. Oh. I can't believe that. Well, no, it's not required. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But there's something about the cream cheese, and you get a little chunk in your biscuit, and you just know that's my little extra insurance that you're going to get I do get a little the I don't think I did. Yeah. I didn't know what and it was until tangy, you said that. And it goes really well with yep. the buttermilk, which is nice. I'm not sure I've ever had a biscuit with cream cheese in it. Well, today is your I day. Can't <laughs> Thank you, Mama Callie. Oh. That's right. That's right. So once you get that incorporated in, and I always like to keep little uh, the, the cream cheese a little bit bigger because we want you to have that little surprise inside. And you want all of these, the butter and the cream cheese, to be at room temperature. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. But, you know, there's a big debate about this. And here Whether I go, cold, breaking frozen. the rules yep. again. We don't believe that it needs to be frozen. I think okay. that, you know, it's whatever you have. If you have cold butter, use cold butter. If you have warm butter, use warm butter. Just, you know, just use just butter. Just use what you have. <laughs> just just butter. 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 Yeah, yeah. More butter is better. <laughs> so we're going to add some cinnamon right. into that um, dough and some white sugar. So you really do have a line around the block. Brown sugar. And some brown sugar. You have a line yeah. around the block at, at your at Hot Little at Biscuits. At Hot Little Biscuits, which I love the name so much. Hot Little Biscuits. Callie's Hot Little Biscuits. Callie's Hot Little Biscuits. It's our bake shop in downtown Charleston. We have two locations and one in Atlanta. But you can order them online and get them in many specialty grocery stores. Okay. So this is another fun thing to know about biscuits is the, the amount of buttermilk you put in can change depending on the weather. Oh, so, especially in the really? south. Yeah, so we say Whoa. you want a, a wetty dough. It's what does a wetty dough mean? It's <laughs> wetty. I don't want it to be dry. I want it to be wet and sticky and gooey, and you're and you're kind of looking at it, going, "How am I going to get this out of the bowl? This is a good situation." So that's how, so. Oh, don't overwork it. Do not overwork it. As soon as it comes together. Okay. And we're going to move on here because I already have some okay, over ready there. for you. Well, you wash your hands. Okay. I'll move this over here. But you want Perfect. your dough to be like that. That's right. Yeah, you want it really wetty. And sticky. And wetty. sticky. Even yeah. okay. watching you do this, it seems like the kind of thing that would be fun to have your kids yeah. joining you while you're making it. And I know you got three girls. Is this something that you guys make together? Yeah, all the time. I have three girls. We have a big kitchen. And it just is, it kind of brings it all together. And they love it. Oh. So, what age are your girls? I have... A 
14, 11, and 10. Oh. All girls. And they're all blondes. Yeah. They're all blondes. So, they're all blondes. <laughs> so um, after you get the dough out onto the surface, you barely want to mess with it. Like, the more you mess with it, the tougher the dough right. is going to get. So right. you want to be really, really simple. Do you set it aside at all? Do you let it rest? Mm -mm. No resting. No. no. You know not what okay. I, I love how comfortable you are with all that all over your hands. I'm actually, like, I know. This is, yeah. like, she wasn't kidding when she said, use your yeah. hands. Yeah. No, it's fun. It's just so, like a day, a day at work. And look, the flour will take off yeah, the dough, exactly. too, so then you don't have to Who worry needs about water. It. That's Just right. Just use some flour, clean yourself. So you always... tempted to lick your fingers? Oh, <laughs> well, we do eat the dough sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Oh. So here's right. another tip with biscuits. Always go back into your flour to make it so that it doesn't stick. Okay. And then when you're putting them on a sheet tray, you want them to touch. Because oh. biscuits like friends, and they rise together. higher when they're together. When they're together. Mm -hmm. We're better together. That's and then right. we sprinkle with that delicious sugar and... um. And also, we do more butter because put we some haven't more had butter enough on it. Why not? Yes. So we're gonna okay. brush a little bit of melted butter, and we've already preheated our oven to 400 degrees. So more butter is this better. Is and then how long do we leave them in the oven? Cinnamon topping before you put them in. Is that the crunchy situation we're having? The, the crunchy situation is the, is the turbinado, which sugar. is what we're going to put on oh. at the end. Yeah. It is just heaven. It is. And so we <laughs> pop these in for how long? Those go in about 16 to 20 minutes, but you're going to rotate halfway through. So at eight minutes, you're going to rotate the pan. So we make sure we have even baking. Oh. And then... Wow. But wait, you also add some more sugar? Yeah, yeah. well, and right. more butter. Sorry. But more sugar, more butter. But I'd like more to point out that cinnamon has a lot of health benefits. It does. <laughs> it does. Thank you. Thank you. Glass half full. I just feel I just, it's, it's important for people to know that. These are now, this is very important yeah. because there's something you do called forking. We do forking. <laughs> Explain to me what forking is. We fork is. the biscuits. So I'm going to move this over here so we can put the plate Okay, here there. we go. There. And then, so to open a biscuit properly, oh. I'll let you do one, Debbie. You want to fork it, not a knife. Really? Yes. And you always want to serve your biscuits hot. Just Never like you used to have growing cold up. Or, yeah. Yes. And so then it opens perfectly. Ah. Well, Whoa. I didn't do so well. Yours is a lot better than mine, but you know, it still tastes the same. And then we've made a whipped cinnamon butter. This is so amazing. This is and coup de gras. This is really delicious, too. So what is that, just butter? Just a little bit more butter. Is it just butter, cinnamon, and sugar? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, my. Repeat. Yes. You're so, like... Really skimpy with your butter. I mean, oh, I'm really? to layer it. Okay, okay. You don't you have to ask me this. twice. I mean, it's it's okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's an issue for you. It like I didn't realize it was. Biscuit. Right. Right, you know what I mean? But listen, it's well, so good. It's worth it. And then, it's worth it.